And police gave us some new information shortly after one o'clock today on the shooting that left three people dead and three injured at a birthday party. This happened last night on Paddington Place in the Bay Ridge section of Annapolis. Right now, Charles Smith is behind bars and charged with three counts of murder. Our Scott Broom is covering this for us tonight. And Scott, we also know that today Maryland Governor Wes Moore vowed to do more to restrict gun access, right? Well, he did. He's deeply concerned about a major community reaction here behind us now. The ballistics investigation with the help of federal authorities is wrapping up. It is obvious a lot of shots were fired and police told us today in their briefing they have not ruled out the possibility of a racially motivated hate crime. A longtime resident, Charles Robert Smith, is charged with at first pulling out a pistol and shooting two unarmed men in a dispute over parking in front of Smith's home during a birthday party up the street. And then, according to charging documents, Smith is accused of going into his house, grabbing a rifle and shooting through a window at people who were coming to help. Two were killed in the first shooting. Another man died and three were wounded in the round of rifle fire from the house that followed. Smith is Anglo. All the victims are Latino. Annapolis Police Chief Edward Jackson was asked about a possible hate crime. Ostensibly, our suspect is a white male and the three victims are Latino, but we can't draw any inferences from that. You know, we, we, we have to look at every possible angle. Police identified the dead as a father and son, 55-year-old Nicholas Morales, who was shot as he ran to the scene trying to help his son, 27-year-old Mario Antonio Morales Ruiz, who was killed in the initial shooting. Also killed in the initial confrontation, family friend, 25-year-old Christian Marlon Segovia. The identities of the three wounded have not been made public. A resident of the home where the birthday party for the Morales family was being held told us in Spanish dozens of children were present. Other residents described Smith as hostile to Latino neighbors over issues like parking, music, and playing in the street. Chief Jackson said as many as 150 were present when he responded to the scene last night. When people start shooting and you have uh, the events that occur there, people are scrambling, running for cover, trying to get their, rescue their children and loved ones. So it was very volatile scene. Maryland Governor Wes Moore and Anne Arundel County Executive Stuart Pittman reacted today. Another mass shooting in our country. And this time, it happened here. Weapons like this have no place in our neighborhoods. I don't know exactly what kind they were, but they were powerful enough to do a huge amount of damage on the front lawn of a home in a quiet neighborhood in a short amount of time. Police described those weapons as a semi-automatic handgun and a rifle of some sort. The three survivors were described as in stable condition by authorities today. Court documents say someone from Smith's residence called uh, the Annapolis parking office to complain about the parking situation on the street about 15 minutes before the shooting last night. The documents also say that Smith told investigators that somebody had shot at him first, but there's no evidence to support that claim. He's charged with three counts of first degree murder as well as assault and attempted murder charges. Reporting live in Annapolis, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. And you're saying this all began because of a parking dispute. Scott, thank you.